Hey YouTube, it's Everything Epan here, and today I'm going to do a video tutorial on how to install Windows Whistler Build 2296 in VirtualBox or VMware. In this tutorial, again, I will use VirtualBox, but you can use VMware as it is a very simple or a similar tutorial to VirtualBox. So let's go ahead and get started. So things you're going to need, you're going to need either VirtualBox here or VMware down here on the bottom one of these two and then um, you're gonna need the Windows uh, Whistler uh, ISO file and you're gonna need the password for the uh, RAR file and WinRAR will be in the description as well um, all those links in the description of this video and you'll see the uh, password actually on the top or bottom right of the video it's also in the description if you want to download it for future videos as well um, so let's go ahead and begin with the tutorial so you're gonna open up either one of your programs here and create a new virtual machine I'm gonna just call mine Windows Whistler and you're gonna select Windows XP 32 bit and hit next and I'm gonna leave the RAM at where it is and I'm gonna create a virtual hard drive and leave it at 10 gigs and then what you're going to do next is you are going to hit um, settings on the machine, hit storage, hit the empty disk, and then you would browse for it, but mine's right here, it's Windows Whistler 2296 uh, ISO. Hit OK, and then hit start. And then it will start up the machine and then you're going to get the basic uh, setup here so you'll do the little Windows Whistler setup here and then you'll get to the GUI interface as well after this it's basic stuff and it's been a while since I uploaded a video I told you in the last video I was going to upload a Madden video but I haven't gotten to that yet so I needed to get a video out to you guys school's ending um, so summer's coming and I should have time to upload videos for you guys so now you're going to go ahead and hit enter here and hit enter again and then you're going to agree to the terms by hitting F8 then hit enter to install on that partition you're going to choose NTFS file system quick up on the top right here and then go ahead and hit enter and it will format your drive to the NTFS file system format and then it's going to um, examine the disk and it's going to copy the files which as you can see it is not taking long at all this should not be a long process uh, none of this should be long at all and you uh, should be able to get this done in less than um, hopefully less than 10 minutes less than 15 for sure it should not take that long but um, as you can see that process went very quick and then you can go through the reboot by clicking enter and then it'll say press any key please don't do that but leave the disk in for purposes only because um, when I did a, I think it was one of the recent videos I did, I tried doing a, uh, I think it was a Windows XP maybe, and whenever I took the disk out, it wouldn't work, and you needed to have the disk in in order to keep the setup from going. So, uh, just leave the disk in, but please do not press any key to boot, um, or otherwise you'll just keep going in a constant loop. So here is the GUI interface of Windows Whistler setup. And this was something new that they had um, back in the Windows. Um, they had this all throughout Windows, but like this, it's kind of started in Windows 95, I believe it was, or something like that. And now you'll get to the setup wizard, so you're going to go ahead and hit next. And then it's going to go through of getting it ready. And then this stage you are going to uh, enter in your time zone um, and your language and all that good stuff so it's going to do an installing devices and it's going to go through that process and after 
after it's installing the devices, it will get to that language step. So I'll go ahead and check in back with you guys when it's up. So here we go with the language and keyboard settings here. So you're going to want to go ahead and let me fix this here. If you're having problems, like if you have mouse integration turned on and you're out in your uh, normal machine and then you try going into your um, virtual machine here and the mouse isn't moving, go up to input, click mouse integration, and then when you want to use your machine, click inside that box and then the mouse should start moving again. So go ahead and hit um, next and then go ahead and type in a name. So I'll just do everything EPAN. We'll go ahead and hit next. I'm going to call this the PC Whistler. can't believe I spelled Whistler hit next and then this is where you choose your time zone I'm in central time hit next and then this process will be the one that takes the longest so you just gotta let it sit let it install and um, when you want to go back to your normal machine you're gonna go ahead and hit the uh, right control button on your keyboard and then you can use your machine so it's going to do a little bit of uh, setting up so this should not take long. Uh, hit typical. Oh shoot! I hope I hit next. When you hit typical, typical settings, hit next, and then you should be good. So, oh, I got to do it again since. All right. So I gonna I'm gonna have to do that again. You hit next when it comes up with this, and then hit next again, unless you want to connect it to a domain, which. I am not going to do so now you're gonna to want to let it sit this is the part that will take the longest and uh, you just, it'll just uh, take some time and so you're just gonna to have to let it sit I'll be back with you guys once we hit the uh, restart alright so I actually missed the restart point the first time so I'm doing the restart again like I reset my machine and you'll get the press any key don't do that it's going to start up into Windows Whistler and it should log you in automatically. So it'll start Windows. There's the Windows Whistler loading screen. And then you'll get the starting up screen. And this should have audio, but I'm not too sure. Going to apply some settings as usual. As you can see right here. There was the startup sound, so you, I do have audio. You might, I'm not sure. But there you go, there's Windows Whistler. Um, really kind of looks like Windows 2000 with a tiny bit of XP sparking in here. But it more looks a lot like Windows 2000. So um, you can connect it to the internet. Uh, using a LAN connection and it should work if you do connect through a LAN connection then just use automatic proxy server and then you skip the mail account and then finish and you should be good to go because it should load the Microsoft uh, web page here it's not going to be good of course because it's an old old build of Explorer so there you go Windows Whistler's installed um, so now you can see what the uh, beta version of Whistler was like and um, you can kind of check it out and I'm sure you can configure with some of the settings on there like I don't know what the color resolution is like if you go to settings um, yeah it's stuck at 16 colors so you might have to tweak around with that just a little bit not too sure on that though but that's how to install Windows Whistler in VirtualBox uh, or VMware. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe uh, for more videos. A lot the tutorials have been doing really well, and I thank you guys for that. So, um, and I've that's blown me away the numbers I'm getting, and we're just keeping on growing, and it's amazing. So, um, don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you thought it was um, helpful to you, and share it so that other people can see it. Uh, comment down below your ideas. So. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.